All right, so welcome to video number six, and we're gonna talk about price increases, which is a different method, and there are gonna be two different avenues as well that you can take. So while this can be somewhat similar because of the scarcity angle, what we're doing is focusing on automation and product-wide price increases. So instead of having you know a private promotion, this is going to impact the whole site. This is going to impact the whole product. All right. So this is really good for things like pre-launches or even product launches, public pro product launches. So these increase the overall product price. All right. This method works wonders and has really made tons of sales in a variety of niches, B2B, and B2C. We've tested it in many different niches. And what it does is it creates a site-wide frenzy. And when people come back later, the price will have risen. So let's talk about avenue number one within this specific method, which is one-time price bumps. This method will impact the overall product price. So let me explain in a little bit more detail. So the reason why you're gonna to wanna to use this method is if you set the price, let's say, for example, you're doing a pre-launch phase. So before you actually launch the product to the public, let's say, for example, that you have the price at $27. So let's say, for example, you're selling a digital product, $27 as a pre-launch price. And you tell your list, you say, I am going to increase the price to $37 in one week on such and such day and time. Now, typically back in the day, you would have to wait till that exact moment and you would have to increase the price. Now with jvzoo.com, you can actually set it to automatically increase the whole price for that particular product, which makes life easier, especially if you're away and you're on vacation or even if you're doing running errands or something, that way it can automatically happen. And this works really well because in your customer's mind, saving even just $10 is a lot of money and you can tap into that scarcity. So let's say in another week, you decide to raise it again to $47. So you can do that again with JVZoo. The next avenue, avenue number two, which you can take is dime sales. I'm sure you've heard of these as they're very, very popular. And, but just in case you haven't, and this is all new to you, basically this is how it all works. Let's say that you start your price at $10. You can then tell the system for every X sales, you can increase the price by a dime, basically 10 cents, for example. So by X, you could say for every 10 sales, increase the price by 10 cents or you could even say for every one sale increase the price by 10 cents so you have that option to increase it incrementally by a number of sales so whenever the system detects a sale and your prospects see that people are buying you're tapping into the herd mentality and that's why this works really really well so what you're doing is you're tapping into that people are buying people are seeing that other people are buying because they see that price is increasing so this must be good right and if you think about it in other methods people really can't see other people are buying it right in other methods like the coupons people don't know if other people are buying it but with dime sales you explicitly tell people hey this is going to increase for every amount of buyers right so you're tapping into that herd mentality, which you can't do with the other methods. And that's why it makes it so powerful. So now that we've covered these two avenues, let me show you how to implement them right away. And these literally are super easy. They should take less than literally one minute to implement. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.